Hi, my name is Dr. Fox and I'm a licensed psychologist in the state of Texas. And in this video, we're going to talk about self-splitting. And I recently received a question on my Instagram account that said, can you split on yourself? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about what that is, what that's like, and how you can identify it, as well as I'm going to give you a suggestion on how you can manage it. So stick with me and like, share, and subscribe, and comment too, and let's get into it. Okay, so splitting includes black or white thinking, which means that you see things as all one way or all another. So it could be terrific, great, amazing, and always wonderful, or it could be terrible, always horrible, and never going to work out. So we're using these extreme terms. And you can certainly apply it to yourself. Individuals along the BPD spectrum, as well as individuals with other personality disorders, do tend to split on situations. Now, why do people split? People tend to split on themselves and others because cognitively it's easier, right? It's easier, instead of recognizing all the variability in a situation in an individual, it's easier to see them as all one way or all another. But the problem is, is that thinking that way and seeing things that way, there's a long-term consequence to it. There's a short-term reward, which is it feels easier, right? Makes total sense. But the long-term consequence of that is that it tends to be pretty isolated. You end up isolating yourself. You have more arguments with other individuals. But when you split on yourself, you can't really isolate from yourself. Now, many of my clients who are along the BPD spectrum have had addictions, whether it's alcohol or drugs or other distractions. Could be gambling, could be sex, could be a wide variety of things. And they engage in those things to manage that stress. It's maladaptive coping strategies. And we see these maladaptive coping strategies in a lot of individuals with a lot of personality disorders, BPD included. And when we split on ourselves, we can't get away from ourselves. So I think that if we have this sense of low self-worth, I think that can become a real issue. And individuals along the BPD spectrum, they have what's called core content and in a lot of my videos, I talk about core content and surface content. Now, let me, let me just clarify a statement that I just made, which is that everybody has core content and surface content. It's not just people with BPD. Core content tends to vary across the individuals and based upon different personality traits and aspects of our personality. And individuals with BPD, kind of those classic or typical uh, core content areas, tend to be emptiness, abandonment, or rejection sensitivity. Now, when we're talking about self-splitting, when we see ourselves as all wonderful or all terrible and useless and whatever maybe whatever that extreme term that you use to define yourself, that's a split. And the problem with the split is we get that short-term reward, right? You get that, it's a lessening of anxiety that that's the reward. Oh, okay, so... I'm a total loser. Okay, I'll never have a significant other. I'll never have a successful relationship. I'll never be not reactive. I'll never be not emotional. Things like that. Those are all splitting. That's all self-splitting because you're seeing yourself through that distorted view. Now, I call this distorted view BPD lens specifically for those with BPD. Because a lot of folks with BPD, they tend to distort how they see themselves and how they see the world. And that splitting is a big component. But people with depression tend to split as well. And they split on themselves all the time as well. Saying that they're not worth it. Saying that they feel hopeless for their future and what they can do for themselves. They feel worthless in that their sense of value to do things differently. People with anxiety also split on themselves as well. People with trauma also split on themselves. Whether it's complex PTSD or PTSD without the complexity added to it. So there's a lot of different facets, but we have to be able to recognize what the issue first is, then we can treat it and manage it. And that's the value of this video, which is, do you self-split? Do you say intense 
negative things to yourself. Now, splitting doesn't mean it's negative, right? So you may split to the positive, and that's, that, that's probably great, right? I think that some narcissists tend to split in the positive to a level that does cause some maladaptive beliefs, behaviors, and patterns that are very problematic. Now, because they think, well, I deserve to always get what I want. I am so great, and I'm always so great that I deserve people to do whatever I tell them to do because I always have all the answers. That would be that split. Even though there's a positive bent to it, it goes to the extreme, which then makes it maladaptive. I think that's probably clear. Typically, though, people tend to split on themselves towards the negative. So first, asking yourself, do you split on yourself? Are you self-splitting? Now, if you are, then what we have to do is, what I want you to do is write it down. I want you to slow it down because it's hard to catch it at first. Writing it down will help you do it. What are some of those self-splitting statements or definitive terms that you use for yourself? Do you say loser? Do you say total misfit or da 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 da, da whatever it may be? The da 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 is you adding your stuff in. Okay, so now we've identified that self-splitting is present. We've identified what those terms are. Now, the next part can be quite tricky for you, and I understand that. But what I want you to do is then I want you to write a more balanced term or descriptor for yourself. Could it be that I work hard at my relationships or that I deserve a healthy relationship? That's not a split. That doesn't mean you always have to have a healthy relationship or that healthy relationships, they never fight. That's a split. That's not true, right? So what we need to do is you need to have a balanced statement. And another balanced statement could be that it's okay if I don't win every time. Or the other side of that is it's okay if I win sometimes. I'm worth winning. Those are components that help us. And the things that we say to ourselves are so impactful. Now, personality disorders, what happens is, is that that self-talk, right? That family in the head, that group, that chorus that's in your brain that tells you all those negative things about yourself, that tells you all those things that make you feel small and broken and unsure of yourself. Those are there for so long that they add to a prolonged pattern of maladaptive beliefs, behaviors, and patterns. So that personality becomes wedded to who you are, but you can divorce it. You can separate it and you can recreate it and mold it. And I think using the strategy that I just outlined will help you do that. So I want you to discourage the self-split. I want you to sign up and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And like, share, and subscribe and comment. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.